the first time I saw a picture of Charlie. I just got this sort of excitement and I knew that this was the puppy for me. After driving 12 hours nonstop to Indiana, the feeling of getting Charlie in my arms finally was just such a touching feeling and she felt very comfortable, almost as if she had already known me. So it was a really special moment. She, from day one, has loved New York City. She has loved walking on the streets, being pet by people. She loves going on the subway, going on the taxi. Wherever I take her, she's just comfortable in that element. So it's always been easy for me to take her wherever I go. Charlie's personality from the very beginning was an assertive dog. I call her my boss because she just tells me which way to go and how to do things. And that's how she's always been. That's what I love about her. She's just like a go-getter type of girl. Her personality over the years has remained constant, but I would say ever since Sawyer came into her life, she's kind of had to take on that role of a big sister in a way. It was really important to me to eventually get a second dog that Charlie could form a bond with and have a buddy when I wasn't around. And that's when I started the search for Sawyer. Sawyer was also a rescue and she had been rehomed a few times. The first time I saw her, I just knew that it was an instant connection. She was this shy, scared little puppy and looked like she needed love and I was ready to give that to her. Sawyer, in the beginning, she would hide behind me and was afraid to cross the street in New York City. I would say her personality has definitely evolved in the two years that I've had her just because she's become more comfortable in her surroundings and really shown her true colors that she is loud and proud and wants to run around and greet people. She's silly in the best way possible and she makes certain facial expressions and the way she interacts with other dogs. She moves her body in a certain way and she plays in a certain way and poses for photos in a certain way that just has this expression on her face where everyone calls her a derp. From the very beginning, it was so heartwarming to see the two of them together. The bond just grew and grew over the past few years, which has been really nice. I've caught them in many circumstances, just cuddling on their own naturally. They're very sweet with each other and they really enjoy cuddling in the bed. They're adorable. You want the toy? I started Charlie's Instagram account as a way to deflect from my own Instagram account. I felt like my friends and family were getting a little tired of me posting dog photos over and over again. And I said, okay, I'm making a dog account. If you wanna see the pictures, this is where you can follow it and more and more people just started following it and wanted to see what Charlie was up to on a daily basis. Once Sawyer came into the picture, of course the Instagram account became the two of them together and their relationship and what they're up to around New York City. I grew up with many pets and dogs. I always felt like it was my purpose to do something animal related where I'm making a difference and I use their Instagram as a way to do that. I talk about their rescue story all the time, Fans reach out to us and ask me questions about how they can rescue a dog, so I kind of feel like I'm giving back in that sense because I'm helping other people rescue dogs instead of buying them. We can't go for a walk anymore without people approaching us, whether it's somebody who recognizes us from Instagram or someone who just wants to say hello because they're so cute. Mary and I met a few years ago. Recently, we both moved into the same building as each other. It's become a lot of fun that our dogs are friends and it's just nice to have somebody so close. It's great to just have somebody who you can go to the park with, who Holly can socialize with when, when I'm at work. My dog walker will sometimes run into Charlie and Sawyer and like time her walks accordingly. It helps Holly be more sociable during the day when I'm not around and also have people to hang out with at night so that I don't have to put real pants on, which is great. <laughs> I live across the street from a beautiful park and we are lucky enough to have two dog runs there and so many neighbors who have dogs. So it's nice to have that in such close proximity where we can go every day. One of the best tricks that Sawyer does is actually jump over the fence into our dog park instead of using the door like a normal dog. 
so sometimes when people see her coming, they take out their phones and they know that she's about to jump into the park and, and they get a kick out of it. There are so many dogs in the Upper East Side and I feel like they want to meet and greet all of them as if they were the mayor of the Upper East Side. Um, they approach dogs, they sniff them, they get to know them, and they love playing with them in the park, sharing toys with them. They just, they're very social beings, so it's great. The dogs have definitely changed me by making me a much more social person, introducing me to more people and making me attend more events. And a lot of the people in my life right now, I wouldn't know if it hadn't been for the dogs, and I, I thank them for that.